Exercise 3. Complete setup for AutoCAD drawing title with field mapping. Activate AutoCAD vanilla configuration type. Copy the files AutoCAD-vanilla.cfg and AutoCAD-vanilla.xaml from CAD configuration to CAD.custom configuration and rename them to AutoCAD.cfg and AutoCAD-xaml. Step 1. Configure Vault Behavior Property Mapping. Create mappings for title, description, and part number properties in Vault Behaviors. Title is configured as a default. Just in case, we show how to create the title property in this video. Create the mapping by reading the properties from any template in the Vault folder. Templates, AutoCAD, and any drawing. Select the file property title, classification equals standard, to create a primary mapping. Set create to true. Do it for primary mappings in general, even if this property exists as a default in AutoCAD property sheet. Repeat step 1 for description and part number properties. The result looks like this. Step 2. Configure data standard for AutoCAD file properties. Start AutoCAD and create a new file using the AutoCAD templates. Press save. We mapped title, description and part number. All others are pre-configured. Fill the dialog and then save the file. The order of the rows in the dynamic properties grid can interactively change from A to Z to Z to A. Additionally, a custom sort order and row filter can be defined. Open the AutoCAD Dynamic Properties XML in CAD Custom Configuration and reorder or hide rows. Chapter 4 Summary To summarize, we learned the primary workflows of creating AutoCAD drawings, how to configure the user-defined property mapping for both AutoCAD Mechanical and Vanilla AutoCAD, how to extend the data standard dialog definition for AutoCAD. For more information about background processes, don't forget to check the Chapter 4 handout. In the next chapter, we take a look at the use of Vault Data Standard for Inventor, Save File, Edit Datasheet functions.